News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty is following this story. And Dan, this infection is spread through the water system. Yeah, that's what uh, hospital officials are saying right now. It's very difficult, though, to take a water sample and be able to tie this bacteria. There are many different strands to one case or another, but we do know that the water was shut off, people got sick, they tested the water, and now they're treating it. The water at the Prentice Center has been shut off for days. There was a uh, bacteria in the water. Ron Young's mother is one of the 141 people who live inside. All of them have been without clean running water and getting waterless, no rinse sponge baths to stay clean. They're in the process of giving them bottled water and stuff like that. So they, 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 are, they, they are taking some precautions now. Officials say that Legionella in the water supply got people sick. That's a bacterial infection that causes Legionnaire's disease and can be spread through drinking water or bath water. Any plumbing system that is going to you know, be in use for an extended period of time is eventually going to become colonized with Legionella. Dr. Jennifer Hanrahan specializes in infectious diseases at Metro Health and says Legionella contamination can lead to flu-like symptoms or pneumonia and can be deadly for people with compromised immune systems. This could be in somebody's house? This could be in yeah, a closet at home? Absolutely. So about up to 10% of all of the regular pneumonias that we see are actually caused by Legionella. So this is not an uncommon disease. So common, the Centers for Disease Control doesn't have guidelines to prevent Legionella in a water supply, but recommends what to do if it's found. The Cleveland Health Department and Metro Health have agreed on steps to chemically treat the water for this facility. And I'm waiting to hear back from hospital officials tonight. At last check, about an hour ago, they told me that the water will have been treated and turned back on by 5 o'clock, but definitely done by the end of the day. Reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. Dan, is this something that people need to worry about at home? Well, I asked that. Uh, of course, you heard that the CDC doesn't have any preventative measures. Um, the doctor said most people shouldn't have to worry about this in their own house. If you're somebody that wants to be uh, extra careful, though, uh, one thing you can do is change the filters in your faucets. Okay. Dan Haggerty reporting.